Today's episode of The Sit Down with Scott Dion Brown is brought to you by Jeanette McKenzie, Realtor at Forest Hill Signature, Jewelry Forever at JewelryForever.ca, and Beautified by Romina. Enjoy the show. Broadcasting live from Glenmore Record Studios in Toronto, this is The Sit Down with Scott Dion Brown, your Sunday morning talk show with interesting guests, live musical performances, and the most fun you can fit in your coffee cup. Hosted by Scott Dion Brown and Regina Elena, this This is is The the Sit Down Down with with Scott Scott Dion Dion Brown. What a beautiful Thank you. Ah, thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Hi, everybody. Welcome to episode 218 mm-hmm. of The Sit Down with Scott Dion Brown. It's a beautiful Sunday. It's great. It's a beautiful day. It is. It's uh, sunny. Mm-hmm. It's warm. Mm hmm. Patio weather. It's t-shirt and shorts weather, my fellow Canucks. No. Get out there. Throw off those winter things. I would say it's like jeans and a light jacket kind of day. and Maybe not shorts and You know t-shirt. there are several people across this country walking around in their shirts and t-shirts today. I, I mean shorts and t-shirts. And their <laughs> shirts and their t-shirts. It's a look. It's a look. It's a look. It's our culture. Hi, everybody. I am your host, the one, the only, Scott Dion Brown, and I'm joined by the greatest co-host in all of the galaxy, the one, the only, Regina Lena. Happy Sunday, everyone. Happy April. Hello, April. April oh, yeah. 2nd. April 2nd. Hello, birthday month. Regine, did you get, did you get any April, did you get April fooled? No. I don't know why April fools is a thing. So no, I did not. Did you? Uh, I saw. I forgot it was April first, mm-hmm. and you know, on April first, a lot of like people will like just post fake things on Instagram. Yeah. So somebody posted. I think it was Dragon Con posted. Oh, we're going to seven day convention from now on, right? Which is something that people would like. But as soon as I saw it, I'm like, they're obviously not doing that. And then I remembered. And then I kind of just shut off everything from then, and I'm like, I know, I know what's going on. All the emails that were like, "This is not a joke." It's like, yes, it is. Go away. Yes, it is. Oh, actually, I did see one that was like, uh, BlogTO was like, Toronto is planning to seed from the rest of Canada and form a oh, no, a form an independent province. I was like, that doesn't sound true. Anyways. Should we bring in our guest? Yes. I, I feel like we should because there's a lot of love in the chats for this person. Mm. Hi, people. We got Hart. Says, oh, well, let's bring in our guest and yes. then we can read, so all, these, like, what are you read doing? all these people. <laughs> but hey, Thomas, welcome. I see Thomas is there. Yes. He says, sup. Hello. Sup, Hello, Thomas. Hello, Thomas. Sup. Okay. Our guest today is uh, no stranger to the show. She's been wow. on uh, several times, right? Over mm-hmm. the years. She's been in this place once. She's saying four, four-ish. I think this is her fourth time, yeah. Because you've also been on, like, not just by yourself, like, other people have been on yeah. with you and stuff. Um, she's a, a singer. Yep. Actress. Actress. Model. Uh, model. Musician. Musician. Uh, songwriter. Did I, did I say that already? I think you said singer. Songwriter. Singer, songwriter. She is a very talented young lady, and we are super excited to have her on the show. Yep. Ladies and gentlemen, I know you're all waiting for her. So please give a warm sit down welcome to Dana Beto. Oh my goodness! <laughs> well, I'm back. Dana Beto. <laughs> Hello. You are. I know it's I crazy. I hope so. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I now know the proper way to say your last name from last episode. Yay! Why? What were you saying before? Last time didn't I say Beto? I don't remember. I actually. think you did I said it. Beto, and then it wasn't I until know. like the very end at some point. I think you must have said your name, and I was like, oh, I've been saying it wrong the whole time. Oh, no. I don't even remember, so it's okay. It's in the past. Good. Well, anyway, we got it right this time. Yes. And, Dana, you've been crazy busy since the last time you've been here. and You were only here a couple months ago, so what is new with you? I have a lot of things new now because 
I've joined Epic Generation Table Talk. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah, so what is that? What is that? And we also have some photos that we can show, so you can kind of oh, talk gosh. us through that a little bit. Well, but what is, what is Epic okay. Generation Table Talk? It's actually not very different from what we're doing right now, mm -hmm. oh. but it's like for teenagers. And we have different topics every week that we just talk about. It's kind of crazy. It's, so it's 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 like a it's a podcast. Yeah, it's yeah. A it's a television good. podcast. Yeah, it's gonna be on um, Filipino TV sometime. I I don't have a certain date. And then later on, it's gonna be posted on YouTube. So sweet. You have something to look forward to. Mm -hmm. Nice. Okay. So so you we have some photos that we can look at. So why don't you talk us through? Sure. So so these it looks like you're at a at a at a, a restaurant or something here, right? So hang on. Yes. Let me let me bring these up on the screen so people can can see this <laughs> so that's me trying to figure out like you know the service buttons like, where is this this is at chicken joy so this episode was about food and business that was the topic okay so me and glorianne we went to two different restaurants mm -hmm. this is one of them this is called chicken joy and the other one is bow mama and we sort of get to go behind the scenes and see how they make their recipes as well as we talk oh. to the people the owners there like for chicken joy there was um miss jane and she was the owner of that location and that's she just restaurants yeah right? she just that's bow oh. mama right there that's bow mama okay um there this you. is also bow mama okay keep going keep going there we go, there you go. so this this is this is at at Chicken, Chicken Joy. Joy. Yes. And you're learning. He's actually showing you guys how he creates the recipes there. This is the chicken. He's like working a chicken machine right <laughs> this, now. Is a chicken. <laughs> this, this, this is a chicken. This is a chicken right there. No. Um, yeah. So they had like a bunch of cool things. Like these little machines that like fried the chicken. It was really cool. And then after when the recipe was made, mm -hmm. we got to go back to the lobby of the places where we were at. And eat the stuff that we saw being created while interviewing I like the that. owner. That's so cool. That's cool. Yeah. So you got to like learn learn about the food. Yeah. And yeah. Then you got to you got to feast on what you. Yeah. What I created. Suffered, what you created. I've seen a lot um, on social media about Bao Mama. Um, how was their food? Yeah. Let's talk about Bao Mama. It was so good. Honestly, it was really good. So what I had was called an OGC, like an original crispy chicken. Is it that one on the screen right Is now? Is that it right there? It's the one at the... Wait. Here, let me... I'm let not me. sure. Wait. Dude, how, you let know that see. one photo of me where I'm eating? Let me see. Let's find it. Let's find it. Let's... Let's... There I am. Okay, okay so this is, is... What are you eating here? This is the OGC, original crispy chicken. And I got to decorate it. Okay, so nice. I, so yeah. I had my bun, and they put a chicken inside, and then I topped it with like this special sauce. I think it was jalapeno. So I I forget what type of sauce it was, but it was sort of spicy. Mm -hmm. And then lettuce, green onions, and a little bit of like carrot garnish. I think. Nice. I forget, but That's that cool. sounds very so good. tasty. That made me really so, hungry. So was it something like you had to? You got to pick the toppings, or was it like they were showing you, like, no, this is our how our recipe is, and then you had to assemble yeah, it? Yeah, they, it was like their original recipe, and they told me, um, the 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 chef, her name is oh, Miss wow. Nina. Can we just oh my gosh. take this in for a second? Oh my gosh, Speaking of Bao Mama, cute. this literally just got dropped off. Um, oh my in gosh. studio. It's a food episode. <laughs> it is. Everyone loves Sorry, food episodes. Sorry, continue, Dana. Continue. continue. Yes. Yeah. Okay. I forgot what I was saying. Oh yes, Miss Nina. She told us the story about how everything got perfectly made into this. She told us it was like a week's process of trying different combos over and over again. And then I finally landed on that. And it was very tasty. It was mm. very scrumptious. So It smells good. Delicious. Yeah. Okay, so what, are we, what do we got here? I Let's wonder, take a look. Is there anything vegetarian in here? Oh, That's I'm sorry, okay. Scott. <laughs> Just take off oh, the no. chicken. They do have vegetarian options, I think, but unfortunately, um... Yeah, that's okay. I'll be, I'll be fine. Scott's a vegetarian. Oh, it smells so good. <laughs> Let's look check. At, whoa, here, look Dan, at these. You wanna, here, sure. Sure. Dana's sure. not by herself. Mm. Oh, oh, my apologies. I just, like, hit the microphone. That's okay. 
Okay. So what does it look like? Can little, you show the wow. a little unbox? Scott, you want to be non-vegetarian? Oh, I have three look, of them. Look at these. Look at these boughs. Look at how fluffy these are. Look at that. Yeah. That looks so good. Can, can I see it? Oh my god. It's it smells really really good. It smells amazing. It does. I don't know how to show this, but uh, here, here. Uh, yeah. Hey, that's great. It's gonna fall, but that's great. In fact, if you want, why don't you tilt it towards that camera right there? Oh yeah, because I'm closest, right? Bum -ba -da -dum. Whoa. Whoa! That looks amazing. It looks so fluffy and good. It does. Yeah, that's okay. I, I I I I'm gonna have one. I'm gonna have one. I'll have a little bite. I'll have a bite. You're gonna have a bite of yeah. chicken. Yeah. What it's, are you talking about? I'm not. I'm not fanatical about it. <laughs> Guys, Scott's having chicken. <laughs> oh, I oh my gosh! Eat in like two years. Mm. Is it? Is it worth it, Scott? It's delicious. Yeah, it's really, really good. Okay, so. hey God. Take a little. The bowl is so little. fluffy. Yeah. We need napkins. They they showed me how they made it. They like roll it over multiple times and then they let it rise. Mm. It's very tasty. Oh my God, we wanted a mukbang here when we got one. We got one. <laughs> Food episodes regime. Mm hmm. Mm. Mm. That's good. <laughs> it is very good. Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, thank you. Thank of you, course, Bao Mama. Yes. Enjoy. Yes. So, uh, um, what else have you been up to? Can you grab those napkins? Uh, oh, there's. I'm going to be up to something, actually. Uh -huh. Tell us more. In the summer. Um, well, not. Okay, the most nearest, closest, and up and coming. Yes. Is on April fifteenth. I'm going to be oh, youth leadership forum. It's like a Zoom meeting uh -huh. of a bunch of like up and coming teens all in a Zoom meeting, mm -hmm. and we're going to be inspiring and talking and like communicating together and just to inspire teenagers on how they can contribute to the community. Oh, that's so cool. It's very cool. Yeah. Is it um? Is it something that like uh, other people like can watch? It's like a discussion people watch. Yeah, yeah. Oh, where can people find out about that, or where can they? Do you know where they? Um, um, you could probably go on YouTube and just search just up, up um, youth. I keep on youth leadership forum. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cool. I guess the Instagram. best thing to do is just follow Dana on social media. That's right. I have everything there. You know? Exactly. There you so, go. So if you're interesting. If you're interested. The and I think speaking of social media, I saw recently you were in a play. Yes, I was. Can you tell us about that? It was my school play, actually. It's so it's called Grimm's Tales because you oh, know yeah. how Disney made a bunch of fairy tales? Mm -hmm. They originated, most of them originated from the brother Grimm's Tales and they're a bit darker fairy tales. Yeah, the original, yeah, all of those, like all of them, in fact, Sleeping Beauty, I, I think Snow White. All those Disney movies, those classic films. Ariel too. Ariel as well, yeah. But all of them, like when you actually look at the original source material, usually the uh, the stories are much darker, a lot more death. It's not quite the same. Yes. Disney obviously made it a bit more nice and yeah. warm and comfy, and the, but yeah, yeah. And the first five lines of mm -hmm. my show, um, someone dies. No. Yeah. So, it's basically all the drama kids in grade nine of Cardinal Carter are split into groups and they all perform their own about 20 minutes show nice so well, who are you i got assigned to thousand first and i was a third counselor and a servant i was mostly a narrator in this one so cool mm. um and i think i know a little bit about this production but yeah? is it is it are they you're performing them in the round is that the case yes yes yeah so how was that because i i saw some of the i was involved in some of the i was a guest artist for some of it but the so basically the audience typically if you go to live theater right the stage is here mm -hmm. and the audience is here mm -hmm. and you look at the stage mm -hmm. right and which is why I, actors are always their job is to make sure they're delivering their lines out to the audience mm -hmm. but in the round is different they've got the actors are kind of in the middle oh and they've got chairs all the way around them sort of like a square this makes it yeah. more immersive i would say yeah cool and on the sh show night, a lot more people came than we expected, so we had to add more chairs. So it made us even closer to the audience, and I felt like that really immersed them as well. Mm -hmm. So what was that like performing with people basically on all sides of you? You could make eye contact with anyone at any given moment, because they were all watching you from all different angles. So yeah. it's sort of like... the 
the performers are in a little box mm -hmm. and the audience is sort of looking into the box. It's kind of cool. Yeah. It's a totally different thing. And you almost have to you almost have to be aware that even like the back of you is part of the performance yeah. because somebody's seeing everything, right? Mm -hmm. So it's kind of difficult for our drama group to find ways so we're not always facing one side. Mm -hmm. We had to make it so it's even, so everyone's at least seeing something. So yeah. for staging, usually if it's the normal one where the audience is looking up at them, mm -hmm. we'd have just like rows, just rows of staging and we'd all be open to one side. Mm -hmm. But in the round, we had to like make our staging diagonal oh. so you can see everyone. Yeah. Very different, very different thing. And uh, how'd you find it? Did you like it? Did you? I did like it. Yeah, it was very fun working with my group. I think we got along pretty well. Good. So cool. the audience clapped at the end. Yeah, that's a good sign. <laughs> yeah, that's a good sign. How do you act your back? Mm. Posture, I'd say posture. Mm -hmm. Also cheating out. Which so cheating, cheating out? out. Well, there is no way. Okay. Well, okay, so... Well, okay, drama teacher, tell us. Well, cheating out... So, okay, it's like this. So, so right now, let's say you and I are... Let's pretend that the audience is the camera. Okay. And you and I are on stage. Okay. And we're having a discussion with each other. Mm -hmm. Right? In real life, if we were talking to each other, we would be... Just like this. Well, we'd be looking at each other, right? Mm -hmm. Cheating out is usually, they mean, in theater, it's like... Turning your shoulder. Yeah, in fact, it's kind of the way we're almost talking now, how you and I are talking to each other, but we're facing the camera. Mm -hmm. And we're doing that because the audience... They want to see us. And, and in live theater, it's even more important because you got to make sure your voice is projecting out into True. the audience, yes. right? But obviously, it's harder to cheat out when mm. every direction is out. Yes. So what my group mainly did, did what did, okay. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's a Sunday. live show. It's, it's live. <laughs> so we'd be, stand, let's say I'm talking to someone over here, they're talking, okay. We'd sort of make them turn diagonally this way. The, the people that their backs are facing to can still get a side profile of their face. Mm -hmm. and the people in the front here and the people on the sides can at least see one person's face yeah. like this. And that's basically how it all went. So at least someone's there. Mm, you can all you can always see something. Something. That's cool. Yeah. yeah so it's, it's almost like you have to be you're, I guess you just in your blocking. You're aware that somebody will always see somebody's back. Mm -hmm. So you just gotta make sure that everybody is seeing something. You just have to, yeah, you, had to plan, you basically fair. had to plan it out so that it looks viewable from almost any angle, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, so we just have to keep in mind. That's cool though. Yeah. That's a different yeah. cool way challenge. of, yeah. It's a cool challenge, yeah. Um, a challenge is also trying to eat this quietly while you're both talking. Well, no, the crunch is part of it. It's a, it's a mukbang like, regime. You have, to enjoy, you have to enjoy the crunch ability. Yeah, you gotta crunch right into the, Do you want crunch a real right into the, crunch? do it. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, I heard a little. I kind of heard it. That's pretty good. It is delicious. Mm -hmm. And I really like the the fluffiness of the bow. Yeah, nice. it it feels like a cloud, right? If you just like poke mm -hmm. it. Yeah, it's very nice. Very nice. Uh, we should probably say hi to some of the people in the audience, just because um, they're here. We've got uh, Heda Hedda. Dominguez. Heda Dominguez. <laughs> she says, "I love bow too." Me too. Delicious. She's actually so accurate for that honestly yummy mm -hmm. uh we got dorothy jane gadula sending some heart emojis your Whoa, way oh hello uh who else we got here we got the top. uh we got heart saying wow hi dana hi <laughs> <laughs> uh Sarah Greenberg sending some hearts. It says, I love you, Dana. Na, 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 Those are my friends. Uh, who else? Thomas. I already said hi to him. He says, sup. Sup, Thomas. Sup, Thomas. That's so intimidating. Yeah. And we have Jason Harper. Jason Harper. Jason Harper. Hello, Uncle Jason. Great picture. Oh, he's talking about the thumbnail. Thumbnail yes, photo. yes. That is a good photo. Is that recent? Mm -hmm. Is that a fairly new photo? It's pretty good. It was for the JDL Cupid Arch photo shoot. Mm. So, yeah, it's, it's good. Good shot. It's I don't good know shot. How to eat Great. This later. Um, who else we got? Z uh, Zoreda Gadula. Just Tita Zora. Oh, hi Dana. You are so beautiful. Heart eyes. Aww. Tita Zora. Hi. Lots and of family in here. Uh, yes. We, we've also got K Lint Roller. <laughs> um, oh, and he was, I think this was before the show started, so he was saying, Rah, please! I think he wanted it, he wanted it to get started. <laughs> started. But he also says, I love you, Dana. There you go. 
Hi. Love there you, you too, guys. All thanks, of you guys. Thanks for tuning in. That's yes, right. exactly. Thanks for tuning in. Yes. Thanks for the food, Dana. Of yeah. course. It's my pleasure. But it's so funny. We were literally it's just... It's actually Bao Mama's pleasure, but yeah. it's okay. Thank you, Bao Mama. <laughs> it's so crazy that we literally were talking about it. And Last then, week, we were like, oh, we would love to have some uh, food. some food episodes. we got to get some more food episodes. And it just... It appeared. Yeah. yeah. What, what is that called again? Ma- is that manif- we yeah, manifest? We manifest this feast. <laughs> like, let's do it. It worked out. Anyway, yeah, it's delicious. It's wonderful. This is like a crunchy I'm bit right I'm glad here. you enjoy. It's so good. And we're just like, I, I've always wanted to taste Bell Mama. And then Dana's dad comes walking down the stairs like, I have Bell Mama. You <laughs> called? <laughs> yeah. Ask and you shall receive. Uh, oh, and there's one more comment. Um, oh, there's a few. Gamer Monkey 7452 says, Dana, you're literally my fave. Hi, you're my favorite too. There you go. Aww. <laughs> okay. Thanks, thanks, Gamer Monkey. Welcome, mm-hmm. welcome to the stream. <laughs> also, everybody, hit the like button if you're enjoying the stream. Smash it. Smash the like button. Mm-hmm. Subscribe if Absolutely you're new. Absolutely, like pound it. Pound it. Yes. Um, or you can also just boop it as well. Boop like that. And if you have any questions for Dana, let us know in the oh, chats, yeah. and we are more than happy to read them to her. That's right. Um, okay, next thing I wanted to ask you about is uh, you've been uh, training in the world of uh combat oh my god to battle tell us tell <laughs> us a bit to about battle that. well getting ready to battle i guess yeah okay tell, tell us about that so i've been doing taekwondo since 2022 of february so it's been a year now uh-huh. mm-hmm. it's pretty impressive um i'm a black stripe guys and i'm thinking of testing for black belt this month oh wow, wow. <laughs> I know. all right so here's you Here's here's after my um, black stripe test and. So that's what's that certificate mean? <laughs> it's like saying that I upgraded. I look so tired there because you, you look really because happy. I was. You've been, you've been was, battling. But I was happy. That's but amazing. I was happy. Okay, and then I think we have another picture here. Let me see what this is. Oh, that, so what's this? This is uh, Master Ko. Mm. He's the co-owner of the place. I train at which is Junko Taekwondo. Cool. So cool. the the people who run it are like a married couple. One is called Master Jung and the other is Master Ko, and that's Master Ko. Nice. Cool. And is that, is that the same? Because you have the, the certificate, so that must be after you uh, after you got the certificate. Yeah, then. he he was the one who approved mm. my my testing. Nice. Awesome. He's very. He's a very cool guy. All right. We also have a video here. I oh. want I want to get it queued up because it's pretty cool. It's uh it's showing like. Uh, <laughs> If there's oh, one thing we need it. to learn, well, here, I'll, I'll get it queued up first and then we'll show it. So, if any of you guys were thinking about messing with, uh, <laughs> messing with, with Dana. Dana, you guys better watch it. Mm-hmm. Oh, All right, here, check Literally, this out. you should watch it. <laughs> here we go. This will loop, I think. Watch this. Boom. Look at that. Boom. Look at that. Incredible. Nice. Does that, does that hurt your foot? Not as much as it hurts no. the person getting kicked. Oh, whoa. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty cool, oh. though. Well, so what are, you, what are you breaking there? Is that a, a, like a, a board? Wooden board, yeah. Did that hurt? What did it feel like? No, it doesn't hurt if you're wearing socks. Uh, socks are the key. Yeah. But usually when you do Taekwondo, don't you do it barefooted? So we have an option in our dojo. Some people mm. go barefooted, but I wear socks with grips, so it's kind of like I'm barefoot, but I'm not. Makes and sense. other people just wear normal socks. But the reason I wear grip socks is because that dojo attaches to another one with wooden floors. So it's very, very slippery. Uh, Makes sense. So yeah. when I'm doing kicks so I don't fall over, I have like mm. gripped socks. Also, Isai says hi. Hello, Isai. Oh, hello. Hello. So question for you. When you, wait, what is the difference between a black stripe and a black belt? So in Taekwondo, you you can level up like half ranks i would say mm. ah. so there's it's sort of an in between for every color mm-hmm. so let's say you're going to green belt to blue belt before doing so you have to go through blue stripe so mm. it'd go green belt blue stripe and then blue got it got it so you said you started 2022 is that what you said yeah february so, so what ago. so what prompted you to uh enter the world of taekwondo self-defense oh yeah that's cool that's cool and um what made you 
choose um i don't know it was taekwondo things, did yeah. something stand out to you more than others or what 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 do you think um uh, my dad used to do karate mm -hmm. and i don't know just like martial arts in general i always found it very cool i used to take karate when i was younger but oh, then yeah. i just stopped but i wanted to take it up again even though that this isn't karate mm -hmm. um it was very also in our area in our community so i was mm -hmm. like let's just try it Made one trial lesson i was like i'll do it yeah wait and what's the difference between taekwondo and karate they're, I think they're just uh, the two different uh, patterns, mm. yeah. and their belting system is different too. They have more colors. Oh, yeah. they're like different, different moves. Like it's like different, um, I don't like know. stances. Mm. Yeah, um, like technique maybe too. I'd say technique. Yeah, they're almost different sports, right? Like, I mean, in yeah. a way. I guess. They're different forms of martial arts. I was and just wondering, I, since Dana's done both, like what the oh, difference yeah. is. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. I, I did it when I was very young, uh, so it was, more like, young. <laughs> it was more like a game in when it, when I was doing karate mm. because they'd like throw balls at us and we'd try to like dodge it. Dodge so it was like... It's dodgeball. <laughs> yeah, so it, it wasn't very like intense training. Mm. Unfortunately, I never took any martial arts growing up. The only thing I know about martial arts is... um like from Karate Kid, basically. Mm. Yeah. You ever seen Karate Kid? Yeah, of course. I I, she I remember is a Karate Kid. <laughs> I finished Cobra Kai. You know. How, how do you like Cobra Kai? I like the first season and the second season the best. Hmm. What season are we on now? Because I'm all caught up, but I can't remember. Or is it I third think it's season? Five. Are we already that far along? Five seasons. Yeah. It's it's gets it's gotten pretty intense. Like it's gotten pretty far along. I don't know. The, the, the drama is just like dig in a deeper hole yeah you know. uh as somebody who's now studying martial arts how um accurate did you find cobra kai in your <laughs> eyes i feel like everyone in cobra kai is being a little bit dramatic okay the two rivalry rivalries and the dojos don't happen much we all are just kind of doing our own thing but when it comes to like so you're saying that your members from your um, taekwondo class aren't going over to like the neighbor's afraid. taekwondo class and, and we're like, not beating them up no, no. No. inaccurate don't. representation of um okay and there aren't like big brawls taekwondo battles at school we know stuff. of each other like we know like the other dojo skill sets because my teachers are always talking about how oh this school always focuses on patterns and this one focuses on sparring so when we go to tournaments they always know you're aware like who who focuses on what mm. when it comes to dojos that makes sense so, so it's like a part of the strategy does um so you know how in cobra kai um they have the motto written on the wall um, yeah so what is it strike strike, strike first, first strike, strike hard. hard no mercy yeah yeah does your does that normal do dojos have like some mottos does yours have a motto i think in korean on the door to our change room there's like letters but i I don't, I don't speak you don't, you don't, Korean, you don't. <laughs> so I don't know what it says, but there's the Canadian flag and the mm -hmm. Korean flag next to each other, and like these two wooden posts next to the door, and it probably has a motto. Wouldn't it be funny if it just wow, says, cool. dressing room? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Entrance. Boys, exit. girls. Yeah. <laughs> Well, but that's cool. So anyway, yeah. I, so basically, I guess, uh, um, don't look to Cobra Kai for accuracy. No. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Just join the dojo yourself. And there you go. Yeah. There you go. Oh, we have some questions from the audience. Oh my Wonderful. Gosh. Okay. Let me, let me, let me check. Okay. So, okay. So first we have a Steve B says, uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, we also like how they don't hit to the face. Oh, they don't hit to the face as much in Taekwondo. Do they do that in Actually, karate? actually. <laughs> For my sparring level, we don't do face contact, but I see like higher belts do doing kicks to the head. So. Makes sense. I mean, if you're in an actual battle, the face is a pretty sensitive it's spot. It's a pretty vital aim. place to hit. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Or below the belt. Or below <laughs> the belt. Or below the belt. Just saying. Yeah. Um, what else we got? Oh, okay. Um, Zoreda Gadula says, do you have a favorite sport? Movie. Dana. I like oh. tennis or badminton. Tennis, tennis and or badminton. badminton. Wow, what what uh, what draws you to those two sports? They're both Very racket similar. sports. They are. Yeah. They are both racket sports. I feel like tennis is just a heavyweight version of badminton. Mm -hmm. They're sort of similar. Mm -hmm. 
and I play them in the summer with my dad. Mm. Um, so we have fun out there. Nice. Awesome. You know what is cool about those types of sports? Tennis, badminton, squash is another one. Mm. Squash, yeah. It's, it's very much, um, it's like a 1v1. You know what I mean? Yes. Like it's yes. you. I mean, I guess or if you're unless you're playing doubles, but for the most part, like it's why it's such a big deal. Like when you watch Wimbledon or something, it's like one person steps on the court yep. against one other person, and it's just the two of them battling it out. And I there's know. Something very magic about it. And that. I think strategy is really cool. My favorite strategy is um, rallying clears. Clears are basically like back of the court hits, like getting faster every time, and mm -hmm. then just doing like a downward light hit to bring them closer to the net. So yeah. you have to run to the front of the net and most of the time they miss it. So mm -hmm. Is yeah. it, are you speaking fun. from experience with your dad? <laughs> maybe, <laughs> maybe, <laughs> maybe. Yeah, because you're always trying to like throw off the other person's um, the, momentum. The momentum and their, their movement, yeah, right? Yeah, like their strategy is to just make them run around a lot and then tire just like them tire out. them out. Yeah. That'll be good. <laughs> Oh, Dad. And then if you can hit it, <laughs> hit it in a direction where you th they they think it's going to go one way, and then you hit yeah. it the other way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, I'm not yeah. good at sports like that because I don't have really good hand-eye coordination. It's pretty key. And mm -hmm. so, are you yeah. good at ping pong? I've never played ping pong, so I wouldn't know. Mm. Ping pong is like the smallest version of tennis. Yes, yeah, so you yes. from tennis to yes. badminton to ping pong. Yeah, yeah. it's like the court just gets Ta bigger and bigger. Tabletop, mm -hmm. like it's limited. Yeah. Um, okay, we have another question here. Oh. Um, from the same uh, asker, what's your favorite movie? Do you have a favorite movie? I don't know if I have a favorite movie. I don't know. Is there something that you're watching right now that you're really into that you recommend? I mainly watch shows. Like what? I watch like Modern Family and mm. Malcolm in the Middle. You know, like, oh, comedy, nice. like comedy family. Love that. Comedy family. Family shows are my favorite. They're so funny. Nice. I enjoy I grew them. up on all of that, yeah. Not kind of middle. Not, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, Modern Family is also... I, I don't think I've ever watched... Modern Family is the type of show where I've never just regularly sat down to watch it. But yeah, every single on. time it's yeah. on, I always watch it. Mm -hmm. I've binge watched it, actually. I willingly sat down and put it on. So. That is something I it's think... It's really good. We were talking about doing during the pandemic. And then... I think Tiger King came out. <laughs> that was Tiger the end King. of it. Oh. Tiger King took over. Yeah. Tiger King. Have you watched Tiger King? No. no. I'm not allowed. It's, Don't it's, worry. Um, it's not. Probably for the better. The thing that's funny about it is like it was so big and it now it's so gone. It was so dumb. It was so big. And it's also gone and I don't care. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> like it's like, oh, there was another season. Uh, I might watch it. Probably not. You mm -hmm. know. Yeah. Can I just jump back into this? bow for a second yeah. dive in go ahead no but no Take i mean you know chopau yes that, oh, is, that yeah. is exactly what the bow is yeah yeah it's just yeah. like it's an steamed, open steam <laughs> yeah. it's an open chopau no yeah. i don't want to bite into true. it anymore it's getting too messy on my no. end just do it regina oh my god too, i, I say like it. the it crunchy really part. Good. it's what people like it's, 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 it's for the views then? because I have Invisalign. Oh, well, we can take it off of you and you can take it. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's um, delicious. It's delicious and crunchy. Mm -hmm. uh, and um, Kaylin Twirler says, bro's making me hungry. Seriously. Um, Honestly. <laughs> so delicious. true. So true. Um, oh, uh, we talked briefly before. Uh, although, so you haven't watched any of this season of Mandalorian? Not yet. No. I've watched everything up to the newest season. So you watch Book of Boba Fett as well? Yes. Yes. What did you think of Book of Boba Fett? Did you like it? I don't remember it. That's not a good sign. <laughs> I'm looking uh, at her dad and like, did you like it? I, was, I, I usually watch these stuff with my dad. So. Yeah, I wasn't that blown away by Book of Boba Fett. I mean, it's like I watched it because I needed to be caught up with Mandalorian, but right. I, I found it's... Oh, it's, I, I did watch it. I just <laughs> remembered, yes. Because it's the... Because I don't know why they did this, but they decided to put, like, crucial parts to the Mandalorian storyline... Mm. Yeah. In, like, three episodes of The Book of Boba Fett. They, like, crossed over plot lines. It was, like, a yeah. dual show. But isn't that so you watch it? Yeah, but there's something wrong. I, I don't. There's something like imagine if you're 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 watching your favorite show, right? And mm -hmm. then the season ends on a cliffhanger, mm -hmm. right? And then you come back to the next season, and suddenly you're like, 
you're like, wait, what's happening? I'm lost. Mm. And it's like, oh, don't you know? You Something happened Boba in this Fett. other show that is yeah. crucial to it's the plot like, line in this show. It's like Marvel movies. How they I mean, I guess. I mean, yeah, yeah, technically, sure. Yeah. Although I will say, at the very least, the Marvel movies function in a way that... You know they're going to cross. But it's not even that. You could watch any Marvel movie, Fair. with the exception of maybe, like, Endgame or something. They, they at least kind of stand on their own. Mm -hmm. You know, have you watched the latest Ant-Man? Yes. I did. Did you watch it? Yes. Oh. I did. What, yeah. What did you guys think? See, you can understand what's going on without, without watching, watching it. it. Yeah. They do have, like, a villain... No spoilers. They do. Like, you can understand, though. You can understand. Although, like, the villain does come from another, another Marvel show. show. Yeah. But you don't necessarily have to have seen that show. No. To understand. Because I watched the show and didn't realize that he was on that show. No, they do, like, a little flashback. No, they? I know, but it didn't, it didn't to Wasn't me. Wasn't the, the bad guy is, um, um, he was the bad guy in Loki? Yeah. Yeah, okay. But I didn't realize that he was in Loki. That's how much I paid attention watching Loki. <laughs> I think I watch it just because. I yeah. thought I recognized him. Wait. But you see, that almost proves it. So you don't necessarily have to watch it. Mind you, I also think maybe... I'm full now. M Marvel was... Good. good. <laughs> Mar Marvel was much more careful of, like, each movie kind of stands on its own in the earlier phases. I'm not yeah. sure if, if Phase 4, they're much more like, make sure you watch this and then make sure you watch this. Mm. I don't think oh. it matters. I think you can still watch them. But for Book of Boba Fett, yeah, they sort of cross over. It's kind of, it's kind of weird of them. Yeah. I've actually watched most of the episodes of this season. I didn't watch of Mando. I didn't watch anything else. I'm, I'm just in the room when it's on. That's why. I, I'm not hating it. I like it quite a bit, actually. Um, the only thing I, I don't like is it kind of it feels like a bit of a it gets sputter started. Like it's like the, I, I want, remember the first episode happened and it was only like 30 minutes. Which I'm like, one, it should have been longer, but fine. Mm -hmm. But then I watched it. I'm like, this didn't need to happen. And mm -hmm. then I watched the second episode and I was like, the first two episodes could have been one episode. Mm. And then the third episode almost didn't need to happen at like all. Like the it's filler episodes? Yeah, they are kind of, yeah. But, it, yeah, but it's almost worse than filler. It's just almost nothing really happens. It's like, like a whole other They're story just like line. walking around back and forth and that's the episode. Yeah, it just kind of feel. it almost feels like that. Yeah. yeah. Steve in the chat says Kang looked so different in Loki. I know oh. that is probably I just, why. I just realized who you're talking about in the villain. Mm. I was like, yeah, they were the same. Wasn't he re the actor recently arrested? Yes. Yeah, so he was. He was arrested and accused of something. But what I've heard since then is that um, the person has recanted, and there was like there's there's something else happening. Did someone pay them big bucks? <laughs> no, no, no. I, I think uh, I, I I don't I don't know too much. I don't want to speculate too much. Mm. But from what I understand is that on the one hand it looked really bad, but now it might not be. Mm. But huh? Yeah. Interesting. It seemed pretty bad when I heard about it. Well, yeah, because he was accused of I think abusing somebody or mm -hmm. like like grabbing them by the neck or something. Oh. Um, he got into Kang like mode in real yes. life. But but then what I heard was that um that's not actually what happened and actually he is the one who called 911 and she was um going through like a mental health crisis or something. It was something like that. That's what, what I heard. What is that called when when you're immersed in your character? When you're uh, like Oh, method acting. Yes, yes. Maybe that's what happened. Maybe that's what happened. Yeah. yeah. But no, I think... I, so anyway, I, I'm not sure now. I, 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 That's what I heard. Mm. But don't take it from me. I, don't, I'm not, I didn't look TMZ at it that closely. TMZ are, are, are just is going off you? memory. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You should watch Ant-Man, though. I think I will. I think it's I very will. good. I it's feel good? like the CGI is very, like, on, on point. Okay. It's... it's I, I actually... We watched it the day it came out. And there was a family in front of us, and the little kids slept through the whole thing. <laughs> Glowing review from Regine. <laughs> Jean. No. But, it, but it was great. It was good. It was good. When I was watching it, you know how in theaters there's a little stage next to the screen? There's a little girl doing cartwheels the whole movie. Okay, let's Wow, let's... two glowing okay, wait, reviews. Here's, here's the thing. When the kids is... can't, keep, keep get, can't get enough. How oh young is too young for a kid to be in a movie theater? If they can't stay in their seat and watch, if they the can't movie. sit still. This little girl was doing cartwheels in front of the. How I like saw she? the shadow. How old do you think she was? Like seventeen. 
<laughs> that's a whole other story i don't know i've never saw her face i just saw like the shadow the, of her the legs. arms and legs, legs moving around um i would say i mean honestly I, I would say if i was going to a movie that i actually wanted to see and i was excited mm -hmm. for it and there were like kids distracting through the whole movie yeah i would be mad because i i obviously paid for my ticket to mm -hmm. do that yeah so i would say i i wouldn't even necessarily put an age on it but i would say like if your kid is able to Sit. sit and watch for yeah. a few minutes and even it would be better is if they can understand that they're in a room with other people yeah mm -hmm. that would be good like re etiquette you know yes. yeah actually one time i went to a a screening and i didn't know these existed but um a friend of mine mm -hmm. wanted to go see this movie and i went with her okay and uh we went and it was during the day mm -hmm. and it was a very special screening specifically for kids well, mothers with babies. Oh. And so at the front of the theater, they have a bunch of changing tables. <laughs> and what? Yeah, they have changing tables oh. and they purposely show the film at a lower volume so that it doesn't scare the kids. That's hilarious. And Wait, what movie was it? I can't remember. I feel anymore. like at this point you should just get a babysitter. Yeah, I mean, I mean, but I guess I mean on the in this specific instance, I'm like, I get it. It's fine. Like, it's like specifically geared yeah. toward, right? I mean, so mommies can go out. After. Yeah. So they, yeah. So they don't disrupt other people. I mean, that's thoughtful. Yeah. I guess. But then it sucks for someone like Scott who didn't realize it was happening. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, but, but when we got there, because I, I remember, I think it was something like we, we, there was only a certain time we could go. This was the only screening. And then it said, it said it in the thing. Like, it's not like I got in there. I'm like, why well, are all these changing tables here? Like, I saw it. Mm -hmm. I, I read about it before. And I was like, I was almost curious to know, like, what, what is this like? going to be? You just wanted to witness it? happening yeah. in real and it was, time and actually it wasn't that bad i could still hear the movie and like none of the kids what it's for ideally right is again it's like for i guess moms who have the baby and they're yeah. home all day and, and it's a way for them to it's nice oh, wow. in that you can bring the kid and if the kid starts crying which babies tend to mm -hmm. you know you won't have you know somebody who's there a, a, a cinephile yeah right yeah why is why is, why is there crying in my right? yeah. it's like no this is you've what been this fair is. warned yes yeah it's like you can expect it mm -hmm. yes so you can't be mad exactly and so in that case, I would say even more what you said about when you asked about the, the age, mm. if your kid can't handle that, you go to that. Screening. Yeah, fair. That's so true. Yeah. Good point. And doubly so for um, live theater. Because mm. I've seen that as, as a problem as well. Yeah. When we went to watch Harry Potter, there were a lot of kids. Mm. Oh, I loved that. Yeah. I loved that play so much. It was really good. Yeah, it was great. It was so good. It was I... like, it's like part magic show, part play. Yeah. I had to watch it twice because I enjoyed it so much. I watched it once with my parents and then once with my tita who came from LA because she wanted to see it too. Oh, oh, wow. I also saw it twice. I saw it once. Yeah? <laughs> yeah I saw it twice. I saw and it actually, once. how, so... What it's when I realized we talked about this on the show before how mm -hmm. I realize now when I go to live theater now I need to sit like as close as possible yeah and the reason for that is so the first time I went I sat pretty far back like we were up in the balcony mm -hmm. and I still liked it I still liked it I'm like wow this is neat you see everything mm -hmm. but this and I like the show mm -hmm. second time I went I was in like the second row and I was like looking up at the actors yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. did you get what? I didn't get wet because there was some splashing. So you're splashing. not that close, okay. No, no, it was only just because the pool was a little further to the right. Uh. But I almost started crying. I, I teared up in a few parts the yeah. second time. Oh my gosh, me too. I For the first time, I sat really close. And you know the part where there's like fire everywhere? Yeah. yeah. You can feel the heat blasting in your face. Yeah. Even if you're sitting further back, which yeah. I did for the second time I went, you can still you feel, feel it. The heat. But when I'm up close and he like in the pool, yeah. you can see the water and you can really see the actor right all. in front of you yes and, th and that's why I, I find myself getting kind of emotional when like when you really see their eyes and like mm, when the especially yeah. their like, like the scene when um like i think what what scenes did i start to tear up at you know what usually gets me in in, in movies when i start to tear up it's what? usually when two men hmm. like have a moment crying like a bromance right like in like in fellowship of the ring have you seen lord of the rings no no okay well well, my dad wants me to, but... It's the best. It's the greatest trilogy ever made. Ever. Wow. But I watched The Hobbit. That's good, but... Um, <laughs> I watched none of the above. But <laughs> the Lord of the Rings trilogy... Did you like The Hobbit? Yeah. 
Okay, the Lord of the Rings trilogy is significantly better than The Hobbit. Oh wow! So if you liked Lord of the, if you liked The Hobbit, you will like Lord of the Rings more. That's a great. Yeah, but anyway, so I, I'm not going to do any spoilers. Then I will just say that there's a scene where two guys and one of them is like, you know, he's he's being injured in battle and he's mm. maybe he's going to die and he has this moment where like I will, you know I'm not even going to say what he said because I don't want to spoil anything for you. He just has a moment, uh-huh. and then his his other guy warrior friend. Tears are in his eyes. So you tear when there's a bromance moment. Are you Usually. talking about that scene where in, in the play where the two main character friends are in the library and they're like apologizing to each other? Um, but that's so far in. So that one, that one was good. But no, the one that really got me was... the staircase? The staircase? The staircase cool. made me tear up. Actually, maybe. Uh, the, the one mine involved Harry, though. Harry and his son. Oh. Kind of, Are you talking about the ending scene? Kind of towards the end when... No, no, not like the very end with that part. I'm talking like, just the moment when when they kind of... When they like just have a moment because, you know, the, the whole movie, Harry and his son are like... Yeah. There's, a, there's something between them. When they finally maybe kind of have a real talk, a mm. heart to heart. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I, you know, that's that, that's usually the stuff that gets me. They remind you of you and your dad. <laughs> I just think in general, <laughs> I, I, what, what? You no, know, you know what I think it is. It's like, um, it's just like when you see, mm. as a man, mm. Regine, when you see when you see like other guys like you know going through something, mm-hmm. and you know especially because we're supposed to be pretty stoic and stuff, but then obviously there are important moments that yeah. like you know that usually is what hits me. Oh, yeah, good to know. You know um, now we know your weakest point. I points. know. Now we know how to get Scott to cry. Yeah. I mean, I feel like... That's Did you cry fairly... during, like, Endgame? Uh... <laughs> I don't... I, I, I probably... I don't know if I actually teared up in Endgame. Although I was... It, it was emotional. It was a good... It was pretty powerful. Mm. Also, what also gets me is epic moments, too. So, like... Epic moments? Yeah. Like, so, so example... So well, like, no, like, what so, like, mean? when the portal... <laughs> like, when the portal opened, you uh-huh. know? I remember when everybody comes oh, through? yeah, And then like, T'Challa yeah, comes through yeah. and he's like... Yes. And everyone's yeah. like, it's... Yeah. <laughs> that, that, that can get to me sometimes, too. <laughs> that... That was so cool. It was, yeah. it was a yep. good movie. Did you watch, um... Uh, Wakanda Forever? I did. Okay, just checking. It was... The, it was the, the, the latest one. Yeah. The latest Black Panther. It was pretty good. Did you cry? Uh... Did there I were some cry. epic scenes in that movie. I think Shuri's acting was so good. Yes. Mm. yes. In fact, I will say one thing I really like, what they did with that, is that they made Shuri's character so much more. more. And I guess they had to because yeah. I don't think she was originally going to be like the no. lead. Yeah. But obviously because he passed away. But I was really curious to how they were going to continue the storyline. I, th- I, I liked it. Yeah. yeah me me too. too. I liked it. And I, I like that they kind of set, uh, I guess we shouldn't spoil anything. Anyway, Honestly, I just like the what movie they did. has been out for so long. If you haven't watched it already, I'm sorry. Here's your spoilers. Well, <laughs> I, I just like that they set it up so, like, obviously, because they want to have a way of bringing back T'Challa as yeah. Black Panther. So they've kind of found a way to do that through mm-hmm. his child. Okay, okay, okay. You can't, you can't spoil. We already it. We did. don't, we no. don't want to make people mad. But here's the thing. The movie has been out for X amount of months now. So if you haven't already watched it, I'm sure they've already seen all the spoilers. I mean, that's a good So point. this isn't their first spoiler. That's well, like, so true. Well, like, I was even, like, a few episodes ago, I was talking about how I went to, like, watch an opera. I watched The Marriage of Figaro for the first time. Who is that? Um, well, it was written by Mozart. It's, like, oh, it's oh. like from the... When was Mozart around? Several hundred years ago. Yeah, a while and ago. Just... And, and I'm sitting here, like, trying to tell people about it and not spoil the ending. And I'm like, well, maybe people have had time. They've had a while, yeah. I'm yeah. curious if the people who watch our show would even go and watch it. This is a very cultured program, so... <laughs> yeah, this this episode has been, like, very pop culture. Yeah. yeah. Speaking of pop culture, uh, yes. Dana's going to be performing for us <gasps> later today. Yes. Oh, hang on, Steve B in the chat. I tried to watch with her two weeks. She fell asleep after 15 minutes. Fellowship of the Ring. Okay. I was tired so, that so day. So don't be tired. In my don't defense. Be tired. In yeah. my defense. She, she attempts You gotta watch it. It's so, it's so good. And the thing is, it's, 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 you gotta watch the extended editions. So it's like, it's don't a commitment. Don't be tired. It's watch the extended editions. But don't be tired. And just enjoy yourself and settle in. Don't be tired, but watch 15 hours of film without falling yes, asleep. Exactly. Just eat so well, you eat can, some you can, bow mama. You can break you up watch. the movies over a few days. You know, maybe do it each each Saturday or something. Look at her face. You know, 
Start at like start at like <laughs> two o'clock in the afternoon. You know, oh. it's midday. And uh, it's lunch. it's the greatest. I think that's when we watched it. I think it was like in the afternoon. So start at like eleven a.m. And when they're in the Shire, and it was like so beautiful, I'm like, wow, this would be a great time to sleep. I mean, look how beautiful the Shire this is, environment is. The Shire is a lovely place. No idea what you're talking. About. I've been there actually. I went there. You've to been to, to the Shire. Yeah, I went to because in New Zealand where they filmed it, the that land where they shot it. So when they first filmed it, they built it as a set out of like styrofoam and stuff. Right. And then when they went to back again to shoot The Hobbit, the people who own the land, because after they finished the movie, people were going there to like see it as a tourist attraction. Right. So the guys who own the land said, hey, when you come, can you build the Shire out of real stone and brick? Oh. So then when they finished filming and they left, the set is still there and they maintain it. So like you can go and walk around oh, in the Shire. That's so cool. It's It was one of the you coolest things I've you, ever done. Did you fit in the houses or were you too tall? I was too tall. Yeah. Also, it's also <laughs> true that most of the houses are not real. Like you, you go up to the door and, and the doors, don't open. there's nothing in, or there's nothing inside when you open it. Um, it's just like an a empty blank room? room. Yeah, or like you open it and there's just like dirt. Because oh. they built yeah. it into a, uh, into a hill. Yeah. And then obviously the interiors were shot in like a studio. Yeah, yeah. But, no, really. And also, there are also <laughs> there are also some houses that are built at two scales. So, like Bilbo's house, they built it full size so that it's not too tall for us. So that way they could film his shots where he's standing in the doorway and he's yeah. the right size. And then they have a, ver a second version that's tiny for when like Gandalf or somebody walks by. So they have like the same that's house so in two sizes. That's so funny. Yeah. I yeah. like that. It's cool. Wow. Skincare. That's cool. But you know who um who built our show? Got. Our advertisers. Yeah. We should do them, yes. Um, yes. Um, yeah, and I, so you are going to be performing live for us. I am. So how about this? You head on over to our performance stage area. You can get yourself ready. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're going to read some ad advertisements while you're uh, while you're over there. Okay, so you make your way on over there. There you go. There you go. Wave to the people. Bye. Okay. See you on the other side. That's right. Oh, no. It's in uh, my hair. Everybody. <laughs> Today's episode of The Sit Down is brought to you by some very important people. They mm -hmm. make this show possible, Regine. They do. I'm talking, of course, about our advertisers. Mm -hmm. Let's meet them, shall we? We shall. Today's episode of The Sit Down is brought to you by the following fantastic advertisers. The Toronto real estate market is growing and changing every day. In these challenging times, you need someone in your corner. Jeanette McKenzie, realtor at Forest Hills Signature, mm -hmm. is committed to looking out for you. She'll go the extra mile to ensure you have all the information you need to make a decision you can feel confident about. Purchasing a home is one of the biggest financial investments you'll make in life. Don't leave it to chance. Call Jeanette McKenzie at Forest Hills Signature. She's my realtor. And she could be yours. Mm -hmm. Call today at 416 52304 zero eight or email at jmckenziehomes at gmail.com jewelry forever conveniently located at cf markville shopping center on 5000 highway 7 east markham they do custom made jewelry repairs and change watch batteries all done on site jerry at jewelry forever a fantastic artist mm -hmm. if you have a vision for something beautiful you'd like made he is the man to make it or do you have something damaged did, uh, did something get run over by a car, maybe, or ring? Because he actually repaired one that got mm -hmm. run over by a car. He fixed it, turned it back into new, normal. Get in touch with them. Also, follow them on TikTok and uh, Instagram. And we have a great deal worked out with them, don't we, Regine? We do. If you go into the store and let them know that Scott and Regine sent you, you'll get 15% off your entire purchase. That's right, 15%. 1-5%. Mm -hmm. Mention the show. Tell them Scott and Regine sent you. Get something great. Find out more at jewelryforever.ca. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. By Romina. Internationally trained hair and makeup artist. She is the official hair and makeup artist of the sit down. She did everything from our photo shoot from the beginning of the show. Yep. Um, she also does everything from engagement shoots, weddings, baby showers, date nights, corporate shots, um, pageants, theater, makeup, you name it. Did you sunburn your nose on vacation? Well, guess what? You have to go on stage 
You look like a weird clown. Not anymore with Beautified by Romina. Mm -hmm. She will make your... Well, she made me look great again, which was very, very nice. Mm -hmm. Star Trek jewelry, yes. That is something they do have a jewelry forever. I just, I just saw that in the chat. But yes, find out more. Beautified by Romina. And, um, Check her out on Instagram and Facebook. There you go. If you would like to advertise on the show, it's very easy, right, Regine? It's simple. All you guys have to do is email us at radioshowad. That's radioshowad at gmail.com. That's right. We do the show live every week, people. We do these ads live week to week, too. What's that mean? It means you can personalize them week to week. Do you have an event, a sale, something happening at a, at a, something <laughs> happening at a particular time, a particular place? You let us know. We let your potential client base know in real time. It's a great way to build a brand new relationship with a brand new audience. Get in touch. Radio Show Ad. Radio Show AD at gmail.com mm -hmm. and we're back we are and uh let me just get things prepped here so we um like we said our our guest today is a singer a singer songwriter a and songwriter. musician that's right and uh she's going to musician and sing right now <laughs> <laughs> She's Thank going to you. perform for you folks th this afternoon. Now that's, it's afternoon. That's right. So uh, she's going to perform a classic, mm -hmm. a classic track that um, I think everybody knows. So feel free to sing along uh, at home. Yes. Not in this room. No. Uh, everybody, please. Should we say what she's going to sing or are you just going to go I'll, into it? I'll, I'll give a little description for you guys. Let's bring it on her camera Okay. Then. Well, then uh, please take it away. Performing live in studio, Dana Beto. Oh my goodness, it's me again. What if I told you this is the first time I'm playing with my guitar and singing live? Now you know. This is um, House of the Rising Sun by The Animals with my guitar, Rose, here. Everyone say hello to Rose. Hi, Rose. Appreciate it. She says hi bye. Okay. Uh, mic is good. Let's, let's get Oh, yes, and I would like to te thank my guitar teacher for teaching me this song. His name is Zach Werner. <laughs> Oh 
was Jaina Beto. <laughs> you can come Yay, back. Yay, you can make your way back <laughs> over here. Okay, here I go. Great performance. Uh, oh, yeah, you want to do that now? Or we, well, we'll talk about it first, okay. and then we'll send you back over. So uh, there it was. That was... Uh, Dana Beto. Dana Beto performing live in studio. Yeah, she's been here before, and we actually never had her perform live until today. That's right. So. So, uh, what what um, what made you choose that classic song, "House of the Rising Sun"? That classic song. I don't. So my guitar teacher, Zach Werner, we're always experimenting with like all the rock music because that's mm -hmm. sort of his style. So we came across that song, and I'm like, I like this song because I can belt it like I just did yeah. back there. Yeah, you did. It was great. And I was like, it really matches my voice. Mm -hmm. He's like, great. So for the first like week of me learning that song, I think I was just singing with it. Mm -hmm. But he's also my guitar teacher, so he's like, let's add the chords. And I was like, anyways. Mm -hmm. so no, it was it's a great. very fun song. It was. I'm glad that you picked that song because it definitely brings out your whole range yeah and I, right. I also like as well you really made it your own yeah, you know true. like it's not uh obviously everybody knows the original but you <laughs> kind of made it your own uh you took your own spin on it yes mm -hmm. i try down. i try very cool and uh i think we might as well do this part as well <laughs> so guitar is not your only instrument i we could do it at the end but oh well we know because we got to do uh true 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 so tell us about a certain percussion instrument you've you been do. yeah i i play the drums wow. <laughs> yes i started i think maybe less than a month ago oh wow, wow. so this is new <laughs> no just like i'm very very new i'm a i'm a beginner but cool. i'll share some of some of what you know some of what i know awesome <laughs> All right. Well, why don't okay. you? Okay. Why don't you make your way over? Okay. Here. To Back the drums. To where you were. Here I go. Oh wait. We're gonna get a little, a little, uh, a little oh, bit of drum in a here. A little demo. Yeah. yeah. Make your way over there. Um, also, uh, just so you know, from your last performance, uh, Jason Harper put f three fire emojis mm -hmm. in there. Some hearts and clapping emojis as well. Yep. And Gamer Monkey seven four five two says, "Dana, remember me when you perform in sold out stadiums." That's right. Aww, thank yeah. you. Lots um, of love in the chat. I'm trying to like All right, yeah. So she's climbing in there. You know what? I'm gonna help her. Um, you maybe do that. I'll talk to the people for a moment. <laughs> talk to the people. Talk to the people. This is definitely a live show and a lot of moving parts, but we are super excited to have Dana here and showcase all of her amazing talents. So again, to all of you folks who are watching, if you have any questions for Dana, leave them in the chat. If you have any, um, share some love with Dana in the chats while she showcases her instrumental talents. That was not Dana that you just heard. That was actually Scott. But let's, is she ready? Up. Almost ready. Okay, I'm not sure. Yes, Dana? Angle, um, Her hand is up. I wish I can show you guys what they're doing, but... <laughs> Lots going on on the show today. Yes. That works. Sure. Oh. Okay. Alrighty. Alrighty man, just, uh... Thanks to my... Wait, wait, we're not on you yet. Oh. We will be in a moment. Okay, Give us a second. People will be able to hear this. Go ahead, Dana. Talk to our people. Thanks to my drum teacher, Vadim, for teaching me this drum solo. Oh, here I go. How's the angle good? How's the angle, yes. Yeah. It was better earlier, but that's fine. Oh. All right, take it away. Like a 0.5. With a that's great, Dana. Go <laughs> ahead.
That was Dana Beto on the drums. You can come back now. <laughs> she is very talented, for sure. You're definitely getting a lot of love in the chats, Dana. The drums. All on right. the drums. Well, ugh. she's making her way back over here. I'm running. That she is. I think this is the first time on our show we've had back-to-back -back performances like that. That's true. Mm -hmm. And it's our first time with a, like any type of drum, a drum solo. Mm -hmm. So that's pretty cool. Um, what made you take up the drums? I just wanted to try a new instrument. So I was like, I don't know. The drums seem cool. Also, in my house, we have an old drum set from oh. my mom who mm -hmm. used to play it Your in mom's high a drummer? Yeah, yeah. Cool. Oh, that's cool. The hidden talents of your mom. Yeah. Sweet. Probably get it from her. You never know. So you grew up, uh, we talked about this on the beginning that we've known you for a while. Um, many, many, many years. You were very little when we first met and you've always been a singer. Yes. So let's take it back to when did you know you wanted to be a musician? Ever since I was young, um, I've always been performing, you know, when I, I have a video of me from when I was little, after I watched Frozen, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm singing, let it go to the camera, mm -hmm. and I'm acting as Elsa, so my parents are like, let's, let's sign this girl up for some, some theater and some singing to see how she likes it, and I did really love it, mm -hmm. so that's cool. just how it started, you know, from when I was very little. That's awesome. And the passion just continued to grow. Yeah, and mm -hmm. I guess having, you know, your mom being a drummer, that kind of inspired you yeah. into more types of music. We'll have to get her to do a performance next time. We should yeah. get her to do the yeah. solo. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She's like, I'm She's behind She's shaking the her head. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, we have one more segment left. We actually have two. Two? We have two? We have another sponsored. Oh, well, know, let's get that in here. That you can actually eat scum. Bring it in. <laughs> Dana, do you want to talk about it? Sure. So what do we got? Bring her in. What is it? I have a little, another gift for you guys. All right. Okay. It's called Tinapayan, and it's a Filipino bakery where they love to bring Filipino goods. Here's their logo. Here to on like all across Canada, you know, to make I love you feel like episodes. you're at home again. Yes. Actually, I think not all across Canada. I think there's only one location. But so sorry. where is the location? I'm over exaggerating. It's in Center Point Mall. It's in the same plaza there. You oh, know. I know Center Point. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know, yeah, yeah. It's near here. Yeah, it's um, um, Young okay. Street. So what do we got? So we got little ube breadsticks over here. Those are my mom's favorite. Oh, look, your dad is in the Ube shot. breadsticks. That's yeah. nice. <laughs> here, should we show it to the camera? Uh, sure. There you go. Here's the ube breadsticks. Okay, and we also have these. What do we got here? These are Ooh. ube ensimada. Ensimada. So, do you know what that is, Dana? Um, I've tried all of these before. They're all pretty tasty. I'm not even so gonna lie. So ensimada is basically sweet bread with cheese on top, but it looks like there's ube filling. Okay, I like that. Um, and then it's an Wanna ube episode. Test, test. test and the then theory. there's ube coconut uh, macaroons. Oh my gosh. Okay. And we've also got. Oh, and got those are my personal favorites. These? Ube cheese bandasal. Oh my God, there's more. There's more. We're it not stopping going. the show until we've eaten every bite. Um, and then there's ube Spanish bread. Yes. Oh, I love Spanish. So it kind of looks yeah. like a croissant, but a pandasal croissant. Okay, so th this uh, smells ube good. cheese pandasal is your favorite? Yes. You want to have one of those? Are you having any? Did you take your Invisalign out? Oh. I did when I was singing. Well, there you go. It's up to you. I'm, anyway, I'm going to have one. You're not singing They're anymore. They're quite messy. What is the best yeah. one? Oh, you like Woo. those ones. I'm full from that bow, but I kind of want to try an ube coconut macaroon. All right. Yeah, because those are small. I'm going for a, I'm taking a bite of this. So first, while Scott's eating, let's thank um, Tina Payan for mm. all these delicious ube goodies. For those yes. who aren't familiar with ube, it's like a purple yam, essentially. It's a, mm. it's, if you've had bubble tea and had taro, that's essentially what ube is. I'd like to thank uh, a different Tita Regine and <laughs> Not me, her husband Motez, as well as Ate Daniela. 
So, mm. thank you. They're the owners of Tinapayan. Mm. So, I'm thank you. Pleasure. I enjoy. But, by that. Okay. Now. Hazel <laughs> DLS says, hi, Dana. Hi there. Try that one. Hi there. <laughs> I feel like there's crumbs all over my mouth, are there? You're fine. You're fine. <laughs> oh, yeah. There you do. <laughs> what is this? It's the macaroon. Mm. Okay. Do you like coconut? I love coconut. I thought so. That's why I said try it. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. You have to have like... Get Dana in there. Dana's eating too. No. <laughs> covered in crumbs. Look, Dana's mouth is covered no. in crumbs. Yep. You can't reveal me like that. Oh, yeah, God. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I love food episodes. Me too. We Are you enjoying? I am very much. We should try to make every episode a food episode. What is this? Every time Dana comes over, she brings food. Let's see. The empanada. Uh, ensamada. It's okay. like, it's do you think bread. it's filled? It's probably filled with know. ube. And there's like butter and sugar on top with cheese. Those ones are good too, actually. You know? I like ones. I like those. Anything with the cheese, I don't know. It brings it together. Go ahead. Oh my god. What a it's mess. the mess is going to happen. Oh, it's so oh, good. Our... Mom, you mm, said you like the, the ube bar, right? Okay. Dana's mom likes the ube bar, so we're going to try that. Okay. I'm basically taking bites of everything. That's okay. Because you've got to eat the other ones. I'll finish it after. <laughs> So this is what? Ube bar. Dana, you want? No, thank you. Oh. I have to finish this. Scott's not finishing anything he eats. <laughs> He's just putting it back in the... <laughs> it's back in the box. Help yourself, gross. everyone. Please. <laughs> Ooh, it's moist. What? It's mm. moist. Mm -hmm. yes. Is it filled? What is it filled with? A cake. I don't yeah. think it's filled. It's like... It's cake. I think it's just part of it. Making a mess. Wonderful. So, one more time, what is this place? Where, where, where can people find it? Tinapayan. Um, it's in the plaza of Santa Point Mall. I actually mm -hmm. have the direct address right here on my cheat sheet. Do it. Amazing. Young Street and North York. Mm. There you go. Thank you for the uh, yummy snacks. Mm -hmm. I appreciate you. Thank Us, you. We do too. This is really good. I, I love the. I like this cake. It must have been like dipped. It, it, it seems like. It's been dipped in the ube liquid. Or maybe while it was... Oh, well, maybe <laughs> they put like an ube syrup in it. And then... I think I know how they did this. It looks like they... Because the outside, but then the inside is still... Oh, it's so good. It's still white. It's juicy, it's though. Like a, it looks or like do you think they, like, not... rolled it? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you think they... Yeah. Here we are. We could have mm -hmm. just done this for an hour. Just eat. Actually, that's what I did. As you guys were talking, I was eating the bao mama. <laughs> <laughs> I shouldn't have Delicious. ate breakfast today. The one Sunday, I was like, I'm going to eat something. Shouldn't have done it. Oh. Okay, well. You didn't try the ube Spanish bread. Oh. Well, he <laughs> needs okay, well. to have another bite or something. <laughs> yeah. We have, before we uh, move on to our final segment and then wrapping up the show, is there anything else you want to uh, mention or light. talk about just to make sure that we don't miss anything or leave anything out? I have another gift. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I like that. We like when Dana comes on the show. What do we got? Do you have a place where I can put... Just put it on top of Just that anywhere. Yeah, you can put it on the lid, maybe. Okay. I got some napkins here, actually. Okay. Oh, that's a big chunk. Okay. Yeah. So we have another gift, you say? It does look like a purple Twinkie. Sorry. This is... Mm -hmm. Um... This is Olga homemade soap. soap. I'm gifting you guys soap for any occasion. Oh. Like when I'm covered in crumbs and syrup? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's good for after we just ate like something with lots of like flyaway crumbs. Okay, mm. show me. They're good for any occasion. Oh, they're, so Whoa. Cute. they're great for gifts, which is why I'm gifting you them. Oh my god, that's so cute. I almost don't even want to. So like, I don't even want to use that because it looks so. This I know, is a it's bunny. handmade too. It's handmade. Wow. A little ice cream. Yeah, they it soothes your skin <laughs> and it makes it like Hold moisturized. I from personal experience I know. It also makes it smells really good. All the fla mm. not flavors, whoa. Flavors. <laughs> and you can eat them. <laughs> eat the soap. Eat it. <laughs> it. All the scents it. are like very like strong. This is so good for Easter. I got it. Flavorful. I, got it. I would I would say I would describe it like flavorful. Because I've had one. Yeah. There well, you as a kid, I made the mistake of uh, oh, trying so the soap. Like, I thought the soap would taste how it smells. It doesn't, though. I found that it, out the It hard would way. be really nice if soap 
tasted how it smells oh because my God. Be. This one's so cute. Olga's ho homemade soap taste smells look at the bunny. smells really good. Don't smell it. Really it. I smell said, look good. at the bunny. What can I smell, smell it? Smell the bunny. It's the oh, it soap. does smell really good. There's a rose smell. Cause there's a rose in there. Makes sense. Can we just talk about how cute this bunny is? That's adorable. I would like to show. Oh. I'll give you guys. I guess. Okay. I have so many business cards. Like I'm almost sad to like start using it, and then I the bunny never. will become increasingly more deformed. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Handmade soap. Put it in front of your ca the see. camera next. Yeah, to you. put it in your camera. Okay. Whoa. There you go. Oh wait, I'm trying to angle it. There you go. Homemade, Homemade soap. soap. Olga Soap Factory, and her numbers on the card, as well as um, the website. We love these plugins. Yes. Yeah, that's if really any cool. of you would like to. Advertise on our show. There you go. Reach out to us. Or <laughs> have a, just send have us business free stuff. Cards. <laughs> send us the stuff. That'll work too. We like oh, free stuff. You. Oh my god, they're so cute. Tell Wonderful. all your friends about Olga's oh, smell homemade it smells soap. Like a creamsicle. It does. The soap See? includes triple um, butter of mango, oh, that's um, coca, that and she, which provides lots of um, healthy looking skin. This and moisture. Oh, this is one that I would want to well. try smell eating. Smell the inside. Mm. Like this one smells like a creamsicle. I just want to take a it's bite out of this soap. To, oh. I've had one where it's like no, an it orange flavored side. popsicle. It better on this like side. On a stick too. Ooh, and it was didn't didn't. Uh, I wait, I didn't soap try, or it's but it's, it, it it was soap. It was a soap oh. from from her. And you know what she But you knew you knew not to like try it. Yeah, but it was so citrus smelling. It Where is she located? So hmm. I think it's like mainly online oh, shop. Oh, online shop. Uh, okay. So, okay, shop. so the it. website, if you'd like, yeah, do I'll it. read it. www.olgasoapfactory.com. And how you spell Olga is O L G A. It's so Beautiful. cool. Love it. Oh my God. Well, thank you. Of course. Enjoy your soap. You keep that one. I will. <laughs> you, want the, you really want the bunny. I want the bunny. You really want the bunny. <laughs> Fine. I want the bunny. You all right, she, all. you can have the bunny. You can have the bunny. Thank you. Okay. Oh, she should make a monkey. Ooh, what? Nice. What, what? What would the monkey smell like? It would smell like a barrel. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Speaking of it, we have one Thank more. You. We have a final segment then. Um, yeah. So wait, let's let's clear some room let's here. Let's clear all the pastries and so. Okay. So uh, Dana, last time you were here. You did. You did participate in this, and I didn't do well. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Oh, I mean, yeah. we, it, it wasn't. <laughs> Sorry, it wasn't your finest. So it wasn't your your your. The, it wasn't the greatest performance. I'm not. So, I'm not talented in that area. Okay. So, but we we're He's presenting you today now runner. with a chance, at, a chance at redemption. Another opportunity. Redemption. I think the mic. Or phone last time was blocking my arm. So we're gonna get. Yeah, we'll move it over. We'll move it over. Okay. So, ladies and gentlemen, featuring this week's edition. Welcome to this week's edition of the Barrel of Monkeys World Championship. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh. So, I'll go over the rules once more just to remind you, I guess. Okay. So, oh, Julia says the, the monkeys could smell like bananas. Genius. Ooh, Love it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so there will be one minute on the clock. It starts. Barrel sitting on the table. Okay, I'll say three, two, one, go. You'll grab the barrel. You will pour out the monkeys. Right. Pick up a monkey. Use one monkey to pick up another monkey. Another monkey to pick up another monkey. And you just keep on collecting Whoa. monkeys. That was good. Um, once again, if you end up with more than one monkey on the same monkey like this, counts as one. That's one. Mm -hmm. So this would be a total of one, two, three, four. Five. Not the, monkey. the monkey in your hand does not count towards your total. That's correct. Um, Disassemble them. Why? Because. Because. Fairness. Exactly. All right. So, do you have any questions? I'm okay. I don't know right. how we're gonna capture her screen though, because your oh, laptop yeah. is in the way. Uh, maybe I can close the laptop and move it. Okay. Anyway, I'll hand you this. Well, actually, another thing. Hang on. Let me. Let me. Let's get some of the food off here. <laughs> hello, Isai. The chat says hello. Okay. Yeah, we can probably close this for now. Mm -hmm. And the interesting thing is, I also set up that camera. I'm just curious what the angle will look like. Do it. Oh wait, but we can't even do it because I don't have the the thing set up. Never mind it. Okay. So, are you uh, are you are ready? Are you ready? I am ready to rumble. 
Let's okay, get so. ready to rumble. We'll get it. Uh, I'll move the camera. Or Regina will move the camera. Yep. Or wherever, wherever's comfortable, I'll, yeah. I'll move the camera. Okay, hang on. I'm setting up the timer. We got one minute on the timer. Ready, Dana? I'm ready. For right. redemption? You what got did this. she have last time? Four? four. We, let's... Oh, yeah, I think that's what it was. So yeah. you just need to beat four. All right. You got this. Three. Two. One. Go. Whoa. No pressure. Oh, my. Don't panic, Dana. Yeah, don't stress. Don't there you go. That's it. Nice and easy. Work nice and smooth. I love this little, what's in the background? It's just adventurous music. It's to distract to, uh, you. Uh-oh. Ah, so don't worry. Don't panic. Sometimes monkeys tumble. You just got to keep on going. It's 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 like life. Uh-oh. Okay, we got Maybe two there. Maybe go for a different one. Keep on going. 30 seconds remaining. No, no, no! Don't panic. There's still lots of time. You've got this. You got this, Dana. I believe in myself, guys. That's right. That's what you gotta do. Remember, you just gotta beat four. You just gotta beat four. You can do. How much time does she have, Scott? She has nine seconds. Oh no! You got this, Dana. She's doing really well. No! What? No way! No way! Time. Stop. Okay. Oh, no. Well. You know what, everybody? <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna keep your previous score. Maybe maybe Dana, we'll just uh, maybe we won't update your no. score this time. Maybe we'll just <laughs> let it go because I, I I wasn't counting. I did. But I'm pretty sure mm. I saw one monkey on your. How on does that field. happen? We're not gonna we're not gonna add it. Now the, the monkeys were not cooperating. No, it, you know what it is? It's the crumbs on the table distracted. That must it. be what it was. Yeah, it was all the all the it's all the, the, and the, the smell of the yeah. soap was probably getting mm -hmm. there. Like it was yeah. yeah. It was invading my senses. I yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's what it was. Exactly. So we let's well let's just remind everyone. Let's go back to the monkey standings. <laughs> we won't update it, okay? But uh, let's see. So if we look here, where's Dana's not even on. Oh, there she is. So she's at four. Dana sitting there along with Margaret Williams, Emerald B, <laughs> Jenna Rose Fitness, Jessica Lazaro at four. Actually, I forgot. Oh yeah, Josh only got Josh two. Josh only got two. <laughs> yeah, but Dana just got Dana one. just got one. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't fair. It's okay. Don't worry. What, what, the way I was we doing well. I yeah, had like four. You were. Yeah, bring your backpack. The, now the one thing we don't ever like. You know, you never go lower than your yeah, highest Yeah, you can only score. go up. You can only but go But you do. Up. That's true. You were at four at one point. Gamer Monkey says, Dana, you're so good at this. <laughs> <laughs> See? That's... There you go. That's... that's I got all my supporters in this chat. You do. So we, we remain at four. We remain at four. Um, How... Oh, my gosh. How do you feel? <laughs> I don't feel great. I feel like I could have... I can't even say I feel like I could have gone better because I got worse than what I did before, so... Mm. Yeah. I mean, I guess one good thing is, like, <laughs> it couldn't be worse. Than one. <laughs> That's right. I could have just had nothing. You could have had none. That's true. Exactly. See? We got to find the, the, the positive silver lining. Yes. That's so terrible. I don't know how I did that. Sometimes the monkeys don't cooperate. That's it's just okay. It is. Maybe Dana. they just don't like me. Maybe I have beef with these red monkeys. It could be what it, it is. It might be. Honestly, I'm blaming all the food and the crumbs. You know the... what? There was a lot going on. Okay, everybody. Like, all my senses were being invaded. My my taste was only of ube. And then my scent was like this very no, pleasant. No person could <laughs> have... So it was like blinding yeah. my vision. So I couldn't see the monkeys. So. No no person could have expected you to perform under those conditions. Did you see Gamer Monkey's comment? Gamer Monkey. I love how she can sing and dance, but can't get monkeys. <laughs> well, you know, you can't she be... She got four last You can't be time. talented in everything, right? Yeah. That would be exactly. unfair to everybody. Exactly. Right? But I'm usually good at, like, games. Not this game. <laughs> something... And it's weird because I use my hands. Like, yeah. for... Okay. You know what? You can redeem yourself. There's the always time, room back. to improve. Yes. That's the lesson. Exactly. <laughs> That's the lesson. All right, everybody. That concludes this week's edition of the Barrel of Monkeys World Championship. Dun, da, da, da. Yay! It was iconic. It's mm -hmm. pretty amazing. It's okay, Dana. I don't know about that one. It's okay. We're going to keep your score as is. Yeah, we will. 
Uh, well, Dana, we've just about reached the end of the show. Great. And, uh, <laughs> great, let me out of here. Great, I'm done. Um, but before we go, why don't you let people know uh, your social media, where people can follow you and all that stuff. Okay. Hi there. My social media is Dana.Beto. Beto spelt B-E-D-D-O-E. Cute. And on Facebook, I'm pretty sure it's the same thing. Wonderful. Amazing. And on YouTube, it's the same thing. I think so, yeah. (laughs) So. Links in description. Yes. Amazing. Click on the description if you are interested in my socials. Mm-hmm. There you go. Regine, where what were you going to say? I say before we jump into our social media, we want to again thank um, all of the oh, yeah. amazing companies that donated or, yeah, donated all of this food to us to make this show happen. Um, so we had Tina, what is it? Um, Tina, Tina Payan. Tina Payan. So thank Bao you Mama. again and Bao Mama for all of the yummy food. And Scott kind of just threw his food in one little box. Yep. But um, Olga Soap Factory. Yes, Olga and Soap also, Factory. And also, thank you guys for having me on this show. Yeah, thanks thank for you. being our guest. Yes. It was great. Thanks for always bringing us food. Last time we didn't eat this the food on air. We didn't? We didn't. Well, the, what we should have. I'm glad we did it this time. Yes. Oh yeah, oh. you opened it. Good. Yours. That's a, that's right. It doesn't sound like me. I yes. would I would have gotten in there. That's true. Scott would just devour it. Well, Regine, uh, where can people find you? You guys can find me on my YouTube channel for the Pageant Sit Down, where we go live every other week. Um, last week we had Brandy Joe Middleton. So if you want to check out her latest interview, it's there. Link is in the description. And you can also follow me on Instagram and TikTok and Facebook at it's Regina Lena. Scott. Uh huh. Where can people find you? You can find me right here. <gasps> we're watching this very video, youtube.com slash Scott Dion Brown. That's where you get the sit down. Mm-hmm. It's also where you get the gaming streams. Mm-hmm. We just had a, a, a Brawlhalla 2v2 tournament on Friday. Oh, it's nice. where you get all the music covers. It's where you get all the vlogs, all the behind the scenes stuff. Some mukbangs. Some mukbangs from time. Yeah, we, we do it all. You got a new one. Yep. If you've enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe for all that wonderful content. Uh, but yeah, youtube.com slash Scott Dion Brown. You can also follow me on Instagram and Twitter if you would like. Um, but those are all satellites for the YouTube channel. YouTube is the best place. Also, follow the show. Yeah. At The Sit Down with SDB on TikTok. The Sit Down with SDB on Insta. Sit Down Scott on Twitter. Or The Sit Down with Scott Dion Brown on Facebook. Mm-hmm. Um, also, you can hear the show on Spotify, Google Podcasts, and um, somewhere else. Others. Yes. And if you like our mugs, if you look to the side of your screen right now, you will see a link to purchase the yeah, mug right. and the, the t-shirts. Chat, yeah. It's yeah. all there. It's all there. Check out the merch. Check out the merch, people. Yeah. Okay. Um, this was a fun episode. It was. I'm very full. Me too. <laughs> Dana, thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. Thank you for the food. Thank you for the laughs. And for finally performing live with us. That's right. Yes. It was a pleasure being here. Thank you. Can't wait to see what is next in store for you. That's right. Thank you. All right. So we have a little uh, tradition now. Um, do, where's her mug? Her mug disappeared. Okay. Use use mine. Just use oh, mine. Oh, no. So use, so use a bread. <laughs> all you got to do is um, say goodbye to our audience, and then you can kind of send the mug towards the camera, like a nice big cheers. Oh. And then that'll do it. Oh, wait. Oh, you got yours? I have my mug. Okay. All right. So uh, everybody, thank you guys so much for watching, and uh, we'll see you all next time. Dana, say goodbye to the people. Goodbye. Let's see how close I can get. Cheers. Let's see. Let's see. Wow. Wow.